Today, let's go to chapter 2. Chapter 2 of the Code Amendments. And this is how I do it. I go to the International Code Book and copy let's see all their section for chapter 2. It's a very short one. Let's see, indigenous. And then copy onto my page. Then go to the Massachusetts Amendments, and this is how to do it. Like R202, add or replace the definition as follow. So, oh. Ooh. R202. So we need to building official, the building commissioner, inspector of buildings, local inspectors, or state building inspector charge. It are charged with the administration and enforcement of this code in accordance with the Massachusetts general law. This is pretty giving. Okay, so that is 202. 202. This is all 201. Let's see. 202. 202. This is 201. Then 202 is this. Section 202. Uh, all this is 202. 202 are pretty long. But we need to take all of it. Um, so I'm going to copy the whole thing 202. And this is 201. I'm going to go down the line. Control V. Oops, what did what happened? Okay, took a long time. Now, two o one going down to two o two definition. Then go back to the Massachusetts and you know, I say okay. Basic Wednesday. Coastal Wetland Resource Area. So, under Building Inspector, we will So this part is supposed to go to the building and uh, official definition. So let's go to uh, my the document and find that building inspection is going to be B B U building official. So it's going to add that the officer or other de designated authority charge with the administration enforcement of this code and they want to add um, the building commissioner or inspector of buildings and local inspector or building inspector charge with administration enforcement this code in accordance in accordance so maybe the officer or other designated authority charge with the it's just repetitive so the building commissioner but what do they want to do this is not clear it say add or replace so I think it's replaced because they say 
um, the building commissioner or inspector or local inspector instead of like officer or other designated so it should read the building and official um, the building commissioner or inspector of building local inspector or building inspector well, building inspectors, why you need inspector buildings? Hate this. So much re repetitions. How can you study? So, basic wind speed, you replace the text. So, these are new. The rest should be old stuff. Basic wind speed replace the text figure 301.24 with table. 301.4 so just from figure to table that's all <sighs> basic wind speed so you gotta go up why didn't they put it in order basic wind speed so figure you just replace it with the word table. That's all. Then you go back, go down to coastal wetland resource area. Add or replace. Any coastal wetland resource area subject to protection under the Wetlands Protection Act. And the Wetlands Protection Act Regulation 310 CMR through uh, 1021 through 1035. Coastal wetland resource areas include barriers, beaches, coastal beaches, coastal dunes, rocky intertidal shores, tidal flats, and subject to a hundred year coastal storm flow wage. Coastal banks, land continue, containing fish, shellfish, land subject to tidal action in lands under an estuary, salt pond, or certain streams, ponds, rivers, lakes, or creeks within the coastal zone that are anadromous, catadromous fish runs. So let's try to do this. Copy that, go on to Coastal Wetland Resource Area. So go down to C O Coast. Hmm? But you can't find it. Let me see, say. Just um, Coastal Wetland Resource Area. But I can't find Coastal Wetland. So maybe go to wetland, go to W, this is just so tricky, wetland, I don't have wetland, so should I add it to the C section, C section, yeah, very Okay, coastal, so C, O, resonant chimney types, um, then you go circuit closet, coastal, oh, it's supposed to be between this, but there's none, so, yes, I have to copy the whole thing, coastal, wetland, resource area, so I have to copy the whole thing, put it right there. And to dent this area, bold type. Okay. Then go back to the Massachusetts instruction. Say Code of Massachusetts Re Regulation. Regulations are codified by the Secretary of State. So what is so this one? 
you should code up. But C O D is none. So I have to put it right here. Oops. Okay. So the question is like, what is code of Massachusetts regulation? That's the question. And the answer is, code of Massachusetts regulation is are regulations that are codified by the Secretary of State of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. List various CMRs applicable to building instruction for designs. Is there a list? Yeah, we have a list of that earlier in chapter one. Condition space. An area or room within a building being heated or cooled containing uninsulated ducts or with the fixed opening directly into an adjacent condition space. So, so does this supposed to be kind of a continuous space from another space next to? Just asking. Condition space. Let's go down to condition space. Okay. Condition air, condition area, condition space. Okay. Let's go here and try to paste that. So I'll re replace it. Okay. Condition space for energy purposes. Space within a building that is provided with heating or cooling equipment or systems capable of maintaining through design or heat loss gain 50 uh, Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius during the heating season and 85 degrees during the cooling season or communicates directly with a conditioned space. So if it's connected to four mechanical uh, purposes, an area, room, or space being heated or cooled by any equipment or appliance. On a turn, this, uh, this is um, kind of weird. But, uh, this is what it is. An area or, so this is what I just pasted over, it says, condition space is an area or room within a building being heated or cool. So the building being heated or cool, and it is an area within that building, containing uninsulated ducts or with a fixed opening directly into an adjacent or next to condition space. And so all of this specification may or may not apply because on this they say to add or replace. So as long as we could remember this part we could be okay. Just remember condition space is an area or room within a building being heated or cool, containing insulated ducts or with a fixed opening directly into an adjacent condition space. So I should, this part is, um, should be underlined. As long as you remember that, you should be okay. I think they think that is important. Hmm. So in this video, I just want to show how I put the two codes together, the international code and the Massachusetts amendment code to make up the A edition. And then I'll oh, just do that, then read the whole thing to you in the next video.